Hey, I'm Pete Thorne, and I'm here today with this little box, the Clinch Effects EP Pre. So what is this? Well, I love this little guy. I've been using it um, in my rig for a while now, and what it's designed to do is emulate the preamp section from an Echoplex uh, EP3 tape delay unit. Uh, so I remember the first time that I ever plugged into a tape delay, and uh, I was like, wow, this thing sounds amazing. I love the delay aspect, but I also love what it did for my guitar sound. This is when I was like a kid. I remember being a teenager and thinking, wow, this thing like fattens up my tone, um, even when there's no echo going on. So um, basically, well, I guess Peter was curious, Peter Clinch was curious about the same thing, designed uh, the Echoplex preamp into this little pedal, and lo and behold, here it is. So quoting from the, the Clinch FX website, he says, uh, to my surprise, it fattened my tone and sounded great. At this point, he began to seriously analyze the behavior of the circuit and found that apart from a small amount of top and bottom cut, uh, the circuit had a nonlinear phase response, and he believes that this phase response is the secret of the magic tone of an Echoplex preamp. So, there you go. Um, I don't know, I just know it makes my guitar sound better. So I, I took this guy out on tour uh, about six months ago and I just leave it on all the time. It's like a magic box that I just turn on and leave on. You'll see why when I plug it in. So I'm gonna show you how it sounds. Uh, I'm gonna play this uh, Sur Classic T guitar through my SL68 uh, Sur amp, which is basically like a plexi, like a 68 plexi. And I'll start out clean and show you what this pedal does um, to, to basic clean sound so you can really hear what the pedal is doing and then I'll crank the snot out of the amp and you'll hear what that sounds like too with a different guitar. Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, Clinch FX EP Pre. Okay, so once again, I'm playing through a Sur SL68, which is uh, like a 68 Plexi, basically. It's a fantastic sounding amp. I got the volume on about two right now, so it's at the level where uh, it's pretty much clean. Um, what you might call edge of breakup, if I really lay into it, it might distort a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm playing uh, with a tone like this so that you can hear uh, exactly what the pedal is doing with a with a clean sound. So here's the way the guitar sounds with no pedal. Okay, now I've got the volume on the pedal set about nine o'clock. Listen to the tone shift when I turn the pedal on. Okay, once again off. And on. Okay, it's subtle at this level. You're not getting much boost at all, maybe half a dB or something like that. But what you are getting is this lower mid kind of thick fattening effect that sounds really cool to me. So I'll toggle the pedal on and off while I hold a chord. So this is with it off. Okay, so. Um, I'll turn it on now. It, things just get a little bit fatter and it just becomes more fun to play. Um, okay, so now as I rotate the knob up to about noon, you're going to get about, I don't know, 3 or 4 dB or something is the maximum boost this pedal will give you, I think. But you'll hear it right away. Um, so here's, uh, here's like a riff with no, uh, no pedal. Now I'll turn on the pedal. Okay, once again, no pedal. Turn it on. Okay, so if anybody ever tells you an Echoplex doesn't change your sound, tell them they're lying, because it does. Um, you definitely get a bit of boost and a thickening, fattening effect out of the pedal. On, off, on. Okay, so I got a Les Paul now, and I got uh, the amp set on about five, so I cranked it up a bit. I got an L Capstan delay from Strymon in line for a bit of real Echoplex-like echo. And this is the uh, guitar sound uh, without the EP Pre. Okay, with the EP Pre. Just get thicker. It's a great rock and roll tone. Okay, now with my 335, uh, here's the sound with no pedal. And with the pedal. Okay, it's just like a thickener. Okay, 